Don't tell me you were in his harem. No, I ironed his turbans. You're not allowed to have a harem in Cincinnati. This may come as a surprise, but I know some guys in Cincinnati who are doing their best. <laughs> What's a harem? It's when a... Do you still collect baseball cards? Sure. Well, then you really wouldn't be interested in a harem. You mean if I had a harem, I couldn't play baseball? Not the night games. <laughs> Where's your home, Maggie? Oh, the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and parts of Central and South America. You must live in a very large house. No, just a lot of little houses. We never live in one place for very long. My father's an archaeologist. He specializes in American Indians. Where's your father now? Oh, he's in Albuquerque, working on a new dig. I'm going to see him. Then you don't live with your father. Of course I live with him. I've just been traveling, that's all. Did I ever tell you about the time that I was in the jungles of Peru picking wild nasturtiums? Suddenly, there I was, facing the biggest man-eating jaguar you've ever seen. But I wasn't afraid. You weren't? Uh-uh. Because it was a man-eating jaguar. <laughs> now, if it had been a woman-eating jaguar... <laughs> She should have Lloyds of London ensure her imagination. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm glad we found a place I'm really beat. Well, I guess I'd better be going. Going? Why? I mean, we're going on to Albuquerque tomorrow. You're welcome to stay with us. Besides, where will you go tonight? Well, not far from here is a band of wandering Basker sheep herders. They're friends. So I said I'd drop in on them if I was in the neighborhood. Maggie, I know you like to tell those stories, and they're very entertaining. But you can't expect us to believe them. What's so strange about a bunch of old Basque sheep herder friends? Nothing. Nothing at all. While you're at it, why don't you drop in on Dorothy, Toto, and the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> I can't let you go wandering around the mountains at night. Oh, Mrs. Partridge, I've lived in mountains, deserts, jungles all of my life. I can certainly take care of myself. Thank you very much for your concern, and thanks for the ride. Well, have a nice night, huh? Mom. Keith, I don't like it either. But I can't make her stay here against her will. Rudisha. Shirley, I'm here to register a complaint. What is it? Danny tried to tie a gag around my nose. He snores, Mom. It's terrible. Well, a guy could smother him. <laughs> Who could that be? Uh, excuse me, is there Mrs. Partridge here? Yes, I'm Mrs. Partridge. Oh, Mrs. Partridge? Uh, the waitress at the uh, cafe identified your bus. She said this young girl may be traveling with you. It's Maggie. Oh, then you have seen her. We demand to see a lawyer. Ruby. You are right, Shirley. We haven't done anything, so let's not admit it. We gave her a ride, but she left us a couple of hours ago when we arrived here. What do you want her for? Oh, it's just routine. Do you know where she was going? I don't suppose you've seen a wandering band of Basque sheep herders in the neighborhood, have you? <laughs> Boy, are we lucky. We could have been robbed in our sleep. Danny, don't you think you're exaggerating just a little? She's only a teenager. Ma Barker was a teenager once. Hey, Danny, maybe she's a gun mall. If she is, you know what she had in that guitar case? A machine gun? <laughs> Good 
the guitar case? <laughs> you kids load the bus, Maggie. We'll be ready to make a break for it. <laughs> Maggie, the police came by looking for you last night. What did they want? They said it was just routine. And we all know what that means. The police found me last night. They weren't after me. They were just looking for me. What's the difference? Well, I've been on the road a while, and my family wanted to get a hold of me. They want me home right away because my father's sick. Look, Maggie, I'm very willing to take you to Albuquerque. All I ask is that you tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. Don't you believe me? Okay, let's go. Then you believe me. Sure, we believe you. Just point that machine gun in a different direction. <laughs> I think you kids should get a room and clean up so we'll be fresh when we get there. But why are we stopping here? I have some business to take care of. Business in Conquist, New Mexico? <laughs> well, it so happens that I got this fan letter from this old prospector, and he said if I ever happen to be in Conquist, I must be sure and drop by and autograph his burrow. <laughs> I'll only be a minute. Get going. Maggie, I think you should stay here, too. It won't take me long. Sure, Mrs. Partridge. Thank you. Mom, what are you going to do? I'm going to find out why the police are looking for Maggie. I can't believe she did anything illegal. Look, kids, I've asked her to be honest with me, and she refused. There's nothing else I can do. Hey, don't worry. We'll do everything we can to help her, as long as we don't get involved. <laughs> Maggie Newton. She's a runaway. Is that all? She's a strange case. Runs away every other week. Always gets caught near Albuquerque. That seems to be her modus operandi. She told us her father lived there. He does. But her grandparents are the legal guardians, and they live in Nebraska. Well, how come she doesn't live with her father? Well, all we know is the mother's deceased. What are you going to do with her? We'll have to lock her up till the grandparents fly out here to get her. No. Look, would you mind if we phoned her grandparents? I'm sure they're worried, and maybe we can work something out. Shirley, you're getting involved. <laughs> what did you find out? Everything's all right. Maggie's a runaway. Yeah, we know. We're going to take her on to Albuquerque to meet her grandfather. Where is Maggie? She's taking a quick shower. A quick shower. She's been in there nearly a month. Maggie? Maggie, are you all right? She's gone. She climbed out the window. I hope you're happy. She's gone and we're doomed. What's he talking about? The sheriff made us responsible for a safe delivery to Albuquerque. What are we going to do? Well, let's just keep our heads and think this thing out. Can we make it to the Mexican border by four o'clock? <laughs>